over over 100 junipers we put in the, around the property, hmm. and we put a water irrigation system in there, you know, automatic. And I did a lot of the uh, watering all around the back, all, all the way around, as, and uh, yard maintenance in general. Started off working at Best Garden back in 2002, I believe. And down there, most of we just plant plants, you know, like uh, uh, you know, uh, like landscaping. After going into service, this George, I went to work for a number company for 16 years. I was driving the park with unloading trucks, loading, sawing, tapping lumber, grating lumber. Hmm. Then I came to the vegetables for the you know, I mean, vegetables for cabbage and all different kinds of vegetables. Hmm. I see again everything with strawberries. I've been here at the VA since 1993 hmm. down at the uh, Vets Garden. Hmm. So I've been working down there. Yeah, we planted strawberries down there. And huh? I did a lot of planting, horticulture, and uh, uh, we had uh, individual plots that I used to give us 15 by 15s. Uh, and uh, most likely you can just grow uh, anything that uh, you want to grow. And we had a lot of volunteers, you know, I used to help them, you know, growing up. And one of them, especially one of the ladies, you know, had uh, a lot of strawberries, but uh, it was kind of hard to keep the bugs out of them, you know. I spent six years in the army. Six years I spent on with this charge and I got out a little bit a little bit crazy because the thing that you see harassment that you have to they teach you how to be a soldier is not easy. You have to I took basic and for all. Basic and AIT. I went to Fort Campbell, Kentucky. I went to Texas.
the best ways possible, the best um, ideal way to make a pie crust is that you do it in a, if you can do it in a walk-in, it's a really good deal because then the butter stays cold mm -hmm. and the flour mixes with the butter and it flakes and it makes your pie crust really flaky. Mm -hmm. and, and the really big thing is to get the flour, you know, and the butter kind of divided in really, really well. That's the most important part. I step out of the show. Well, I prefer to be busy. So kitchens are generally an ideal place. I started out in kitchens when I was 13 with my stepfather. Um, he'd bring me into work and I would work for free. <laughs> so I know how to do all the slicing and dicing and stuff that's concerned because I help the prep cooks get everything ready. Um, kitchen chaos doesn't bother me because you know what, it ends. You know, there there is an end to it. Mm -hmm. If it was really, really bad, I can go home and, you know, beat up the stuffed animals and get over it. Um, I don't like to yell and scream because it makes it even worse to get through. Mm -hmm. um, pretty calm, very accommodating. I want everybody around me to be as happy as they can be so that they're successful. Mm -hmm. so. Well, if I'm cooking for somebody else, like I cook for my church sometimes, uh, then I go all out and do the batter and all of that, you know, and let it set overnight and, and or, or when you put the seasoning on it and let it marinate and mm -hmm. all that overnight. But if I'm just cooking it for me, just, you know, off the top of just, well, I guess I fried chicken today, I just grab it and just just put it in some flour, throw some seasoned salt mm -hmm. and some black pepper on it, maybe a little garlic salt, and just throw it in some flour and throw it in the grease. Oh, God, I made it yesterday, and my, my girlfriend came over, and this is my ex-husband, he came over, and she called another friend that she works with, and she said, well, girl, bring me a piece to work, and she got in and left. I said, oh, my God, y'all going to eat up all my chicken. That's what I said in my mind. <laughs> <laughs>